Tyrannosaurus rex versus Spinosaurus aegyptiacus. Egypticus or Egyptiacus? Egyptiacus. Why do they have to make these names so damn difficult, huh? Yes, we've all seen the battle from Jurassic Park 3, but the question is, would the Spinosaurus have won in real life? Today we'll discuss the sizes, weapons, advantages and disadvantages of these fearsome giants and find out who would have won the battle if they somehow met in real life millions of years ago. The verdict may surprise you. First, some stats. Tyrannosaurus, height at head, 6 meters, length, 13 meters, weight, 6 to 8 tons, diet, large and sometimes armored dinosaurs. Okay, now the weapons of the T-Rex. Tyrannosaurus had a bite force of around 6.5 tons and had over 60 20 centimeter teeth lining his 1.2 meter jaw. Using his bite force and teeth, Tyrannosaurus could easily tear off over 60 kilograms of flesh. He could potentially kick with his legs, but this was unlikely because it could easily unbalance him. It would also be difficult to aim a kick at Spinosaurus when they're both thrashing around. When battling, the Tyrannosaurus would most likely try and ram Spinosaurus with his large head. Now onto Spinosaurus. Height at head, 6.7 meters. Length, 17 meters. Weight, 7 to 9 tons. Diet, fish and small dinosaurs. Now, the weapons of Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus II possessed some deadly weapons. He had a bite force of around 2 tons, and it had long strong arms with 18 centimeter claws that could make cuts over 5 centimeters deep. Like Tyrannosaurus, Spinosaurus could also kick, but most likely wouldn't for the same reasons. Now onto the advantages of T-Rex. Tyrannosaurus had many advantages over Spinosaurus. He was more muscular. He had better teeth and a stronger bite force that could snap Spinosaurus's neck or take massive chunks out the side. Tyrannosaurus had a larger brain and was smarter than Spinosaurus. He also had forward-facing eyes, giving him excellent 3D vision six times better than a human's. Tyrannosaurus had more fighting skill because he hunted dangerous prey naturally and had to fight with rival Tyrannosaurids. Now onto the disadvantages of the T-Rex. Tyrannosaurus had a few disadvantages. He was a bit smaller than Spinosaurus. Tyrannosaurus also had smaller, weaker arms with smaller claws, but they were strong. Now onto the advantages of Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus had a few advantages over the T-Rex. He was larger. Spinosaurus had larger, stronger arms with larger claws, which could do some serious damage to Tyrannosaurus, but it would take many swipes using his arms to achieve this. Now onto the disadvantages of the Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus would have some clear disadvantages in this battle. His teeth were conical, made for gripping slippery fish, not for tearing flesh. To get close to Tyrannosaurus in order to claw him, Spinosaurus would have to get past the T-Rex's powerful jaws and teeth. Spinosaurus also had eyes on the side of his head, limiting his vision. He had to fight some theropods like Carcharodontosaurus, but didn't possess nearly as much fighting skill as Tyrannosaurus. Spinosaurus also had the sail on his back, and if it got slammed into by T-Rex, could potentially break his backbone, either paralyzing or killing him. These disadvantages of Spinosaurus would have weakened him in the battle. So what's the verdict? I reckon T-Rex would have won 80% of the time. Go on, Spino fans, start your bitching. Vroom, 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 vroom. Now let's see what a sober scientist would make of all this. Who would win, the Spino or the T-Rex? Jack Horner reckons no one. They wouldn't fight to begin with. Both Spinosaurus and Tyrannosaurus are very specialized predators who have rule over different terrain and target different quarry. Most fights between predatory animals occur over resources, such as a recently killed prey animal or territory, and are often intraspecific. A T-Rex is more likely to fight another T-Rex for food, and so on. T-Rex and Spinosaurus developed specializations that allowed them to live without worry of competing against any predators besides themselves. We'll also consider Spinosaurus's environment. It lived in an area full to the brim with large predatory dinosaurs that rivaled T-Rex in size, Acrocanthosaurus and Carcharodontosaurus. The high density of large carnivores in the same environment led to the local Spinosaurus adopting an aquatic lifestyle where food and space was abundant and unclaimed. In T-Rex's case, Utah Raptor, Dakota Raptor and young Tyrannosaurus took on fast and skittish quarry, leaving adult T-Rex to seek other sources of meat, namely dangerous terrestrial herbivores. In a scenario where an adult T-Rex and an adult Spinosaurus could have crossed paths with one another, the chances of a fight breaking out would have been slim to none. Seeing two fearsome animals casually stride by each other is definitely a strange thought to the stomach, but it makes sense. 
There are more fish to catch and more triceratops to behead anyway. Who's got time for a movie fight? So anyway, let me know what you think. I know a lot of Spino fans will disagree, but tell me why you think the Spinosaurus would win. Please let me know in the comments below. This week's t-shirt, clever girl, reading books, putting on makeup, about to graduate, get the t-shirt. Make sure you click the bell icon to turn on notifications. Also, please check out my other videos. I'll see you later.